War II. It was a very agile and steady gun platform. The British were able to increase its combat effectiveness by switching to a better fuel. The Hawker was armed with eight 30 caliber machine guns and had an armored plate to protect the pilot. The battle against the Netherlands lasted from May 10th to the 14th. The Dutch surrendered in order to prevent other cities from suffering the same fate as Rotterdam, which had been terror bombed by the German Luftwaffe. Eben Amel was a Belgian fortress on the Albert Canal that defended the Belgian German border. This fortress's main goal was to cover the bridges that spanned the Albert Canal. 78 German paratroopers landed on the roof of the fortress via glider. These elite German troopers were able to pin down the fort's garrison until later relieved by German 18th Army. Panzer Group Kleist was comprised of 41,140 motor vehicles moving through the Ardennes forest on a total of four roads. Such a large number of vehicles in such a small area of operation was a cause for German concern since they could be spotted by Allied air reconnaissance. The Germans took Fortress Liège in under three days and forced the defending Belgians into an early retreat to the Deal Line, occupying the defenses before the French could get there. The Battle of Sedan began with a massive aerial bombardment of French positions. This bombing did not destroy many bunkers or French positions, but was detrimental to the French morale. After German infantry captured the French positions near the Meuse River, German engineers constructed platoon bridges. These bridges became the main target for 250 Allied sorties, but they were unable to take out the bridges, allowing Guderian to bring the main body of his corps across the Meuse. On May 14th, the French 10th Corps was positioned to throw the Germans back across the Meuse. However, due to French hesitations, their counterattacking armor failed to reach the heights of over Sedan before the Germans and their chance to defeat the Germans was thwarted. On May 16th, Guderian disobeyed his halt to order because a delay would upset the strategy of a quick advance, which was pivotal to the Blitzkrieg tactic. Lacking a centrally placed strategic reserve, the Allies tried to pull their armies out of Belgium to respond to the new threat emerging from the rear. French forces under Charles de Gaulle showed how vulnerable the flanks of the German forces were to bold counterattack. On May 17th, de Gaulle mounted a counterattack at Mount Cornet, only to be quickly brushed aside by the German advance. Regrouping two days later, he attempted to renew his attack and actually penetrated the German line, but was ordered to desist as his division was needed elsewhere. On May 15th, Churchill received a call from French Prime Minister Renaud. We have been defeated, we are beaten, we have lost the battle. Britain immediately dispatched four fighter squadrons, and the next day Churchill met with Reynaud and Gamelin. Churchill asked, where is the strategic reserve, as he was hoping to stem the German attack from the Ardennes. Gamelin replied, none, therefore signifying the strategic and operational bankruptcy. On the morning of May 20th, Maurice Gamelin ordered the armies trapped in Belgium and northern France to fight their way south and link up with French forces that would be pushing northward from the Somme River. However, on the evening of the 19th, French Prime Minister Paul Renaud dismissed Gamelin for his failure to contain the German offensive and replaced him with Maxime Weygand. Weygand immediately cancelled Gamelin's orders as he wished to confer with the other Allied commanders in Belgium before deciding what to do. This resulted in three wasted days before Weygand issued the same orders that Gamelin had issued on May 19th. The plan was nevertheless referred to as the Weygand Plan. On May 22nd, Weygand ordered his forces to pinch off the German armored spearhead from the German infantry by combining attacks from the north and the south. The panzer divisions were again very vulnerable due to the rapidly deteriorating mechanical conditions of their tanks, having traversed many hundreds of miles in combat. However, the condition of the Allied divisions was far worse. The Battle of Arras was an attempt by the Allies to sever the German armored penetration from Sedan. Near the town of Arras, the Allies had some initial success, but Rommel was able to employ his Flak 88 guns, firing over open sights as the only solution to stopping the British Matilda tanks. The French were unable to maintain the timetable, and the Allies were forced to retreat. An order was given by Rundstedt on May 23rd to halt the Panzers, to allow other units to close the gap between the vanguard and the main body. Göring convinced Hitler that the Luftwaffe could keep the Allies pinned at Dunkirk. The German military surrounded Dunkirk on May 26th. Army Group B was facing the Belgians on the northern flank, while Army Group A was working the western and southern flanks. Dunkirk was defended by the French Army, the BEF, and Belgian forces. However, the Belgians surrendered on May 27th. Operation Dynamo was a codename for the Dunkirk evacuation by the British. 
This plan called for the evacuation of Allied soldiers from the beaches and harbor of Dunkirk from May 26th to June 4th. The evacuation was assisted by 700 private yachts, aka the Little Fleet, and saved over 330,000 Allied lives. All heavy equipment was abandoned and several thousand French troops were captured. The British Royal Air Force also lost 474 aircraft compared to the 132 lost by the Germans. This was due to the poor weather over the beaches and Britain's realization that superiority over Dunkirk would result in many lives saved. After the operations around Dunkirk, the German army realigned along the Somme River and refitted their Panzer divisions for the upcoming offensive. The Germans held bridgeheads at Abbeville, Amiens, and Peronne along the River Somme. The first, rather weak Allied counterattack from France was launched on the 24th of May when the 7th Colonial Division, supported by a handful of tanks, failed to retake Amiens. On the 27th of May, the incomplete British 1st Armored Division, which had been hastily brought forward from Normandy, where it was forming, attacked Abbeville in force, but was also beaten back with crippling losses. Rommel resumed his advance the 5th of June in order to secure bridges near Rouen over the river Seine. They advanced 100 kilometers in two days, but when they arrived on the 7th, found the bridges of Rouen destroyed. After initial skirmishes, the Germans broke the Somme line and pushed into the interior of France, bypassing the French hedgehogs along the front. On June 10, 1940, the Italian army under Benito Mussolini invaded France. The Italian gains were minimal in the two weeks of fighting, but the Italians lost 631 men in these skirmishes compared to France's 200 casualties. Also on June 10th, Paris was declared an open city. French government evacuates to Bordeaux. Renault desperately asked Churchill for 25 fighter squadrons in order to continue the war. Churchill, realizing that France is lost, declined their request because he knew Britain could not survive alone without air supremacy. Prime Minister Renault resigned June 16th when he realized the war was lost and he had no control over the outcome of the battle with the Germans. Marshal Pétain took Renault's place to negotiate the surrender to Germany. On the 18th of June, Rommel captured Cherbourg. Rommel then made a move towards Bordeaux, where the French government had retreated to, but stopped when the armistice was signed June 22nd. On June 17th, when Hitler received word from the French government that they wished to negotiate an armistice, he arranged for the surrender to take place in the same rail car that Germany surrendered in after World War I. As a further sign of contempt, Hitler walked out on the meeting before the French surrender, leaving his aide Keitel to finish the ceremony. Germany was given military control of northern and western France in order to further prosecute the war against Britain. The Vichy government, headed by Pétain, was left with the remainder of France, minus Savoy, which was given to Italy. Alsace-Lorraine was also ceded to Germany. The second evacuation of the BEF took place between the 15th and 25th of June from English Channel ports. Around June 14th, Churchill obtained assurances from Admiral Francois Darlan that the French fleet would not fall into German hands and most of the capital ships were moved to African ports. The French hoped to retain their colonies, and so when they surrendered, these colonies became Vichy ruled as well. In six weeks, the German army traveled over 1,000 kilometers, defeated three nations, and caused another to retreat from the continent. At the time, it was the fastest invasion in history and showed the world that a fundamental shift in military strategy had occurred.